for doing this video, first of all. Um, maybe you can tell me a little bit about what problem that you had or what need that you had to kind of to drove you to, to our solution. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I found a sales playbook two years ago, March 2019, uh, to help entrepreneurs um, ramp up their sales quicker and uh, build up the company to 20, 30, maybe sometimes a bit more K monthly revenue. And at one point being like a one person show, even get hiring my first sales rep uh, operations um, break maybe a bit at one point. So I was really reaching out to basically uh, ask for some standard operating procedure and so on. But then what we actually discovered together was it's much more helpful if there are certain work packages like that I know this needs to be done, but I don't want to orchestrate the whole process because it's a lot of mental load for me as a founder, as an entrepreneur. And what we actually did together was translate the whole platform of like 30 plus, um, basically how to guys like our whole self learning platform from English to German. And uh, that was really helpful for me because I could basically uh, delegate the orchestration and the whole translation part to somebody of your team with you still being there as the founder and to, for regular check-ins and adoptions, uh, ending up basically translating around, well, basically like three hours of video content, probably 50 templates, 50 how-to guides, uh, completely from English to German, resulting in a completely new market offering, digital uh, Verkauf für Kramut. Okay, great. And um, can you tell me a little bit about what that meant to you as the founder of the business? Um, if you were to quantify that value, what what did that allow you to do? It it really allowed me to do to focus on other initiatives because at that point in time we were building a sales talent sourcing app. I was running the daily business. Uh, we were just like tweaking the market offering a bit, and obviously, like I'm still selling, ramping up people, um, coaching people, writing content, doing strategic things. Uh, besides finance legal other stuff this just allowed me to take a large chunk of work that is strategically important but i don't have like the, the mind to do it uh, off my plate and basically still get sure it actually gets done professionally okay great and um if you were to kind of share some of having used the service and, and try using the service in different areas of the business if you were going to share some insights into um, what works best uh, for anybody kind of listening to this video? What did you yeah, for, sure. for sure. I think that depends a bit on the buyer persona, so to say, like who's working with you. I personally, after four years of, of basically tech consulting and project work, would consider myself like fairly structured. So it's not that I never basically built a standard operating procedure. So for me, that was less valuable than for others. For me, it was literally this getting a whole chunk of work and just like sourcing it off while still basically not outsourcing it completely, but getting like useful questions on back and feedback loops, what, what works and what not, and why we should do something a certain way. I think for a lot of like tech entrepreneurs out there, but also Kaimus, the, um, you are in a really like good spot between like a virtual assistant over um, Upwork and so on, which is not feasible at all for like a Swiss Kaimu, for example, and um, somebody that you need to hire full time as a, as a kind of like head of operations or like head of admin um, to, to back that up. Uh, because what I really appreciated was your flexibility and basically like take on things, um, execute them self-sufficiently and also bring in new inputs, how existing procedures can be improved. Mm. Okay, great. And there you mentioned uh, the kind of those traditional freelance platforms, Upwork um, and Fiverr and things like that. Why did you choose to go for our model rather than to go for those traditional freelance platforms? To be honest, it was also like uh, a warm recommendation from Valentin Splat, like partner in crime, not in crime, but on, on sales playbook side, um, who basically warmly recommended you because of that, look, I, it seems like you're in a similar position than me, that you have some things you know what to do, but like you're not 100% sure on how and you don't have the capacity to do, to do it yourself. And I just thought, let's give this a shot because you're in a, in a really attractive range like it's not like 200 bucks an hour it's also not 10 bucks an hour so much i can say i guess um but it's it's still affordable to basically run things um as long as you estimate your internal hourly rate yourself as a higher rate than somebody from your side in the uk 
or at a like less niche um, basically expertise. Yeah. Okay, great. And then maybe the final question is, what were some of your hesitations um, before using the service that now um, have kind of have been resolved or you have some assurance um, that those weren't necessarily barriers to, to kind of um, to entry, I guess? Yeah, um, I think some some hesitations mainly two I had like uh, one we figured out is, is still there due to the nature of our business one went away like one that's still there is uh, obviously the kind of because we're not this large company with like things working the same time 100 out of 100 times we still have like special case where somebody asks questions like we've never been asked a question before so it's it's not possible for us to outsource that as we need to take a, a business decision on that the one that went away is basically like, will you understand the business well enough and be self-sufficient enough to not increase friction, but to reuse it, which was especially true for this translation work on the whole platform. Thank you very much. It was yeah, a pleasure to hear your thoughts.